Although you can create a right-hand indent if you compile to an EPUB 3 ebook or a Kindle KF8 Mobi ebook, which are available in Scrivener 3, I've tested extensively and have not found a way to stop a block quote from justifying with the right-hand margin when compiling to EPUB 2 ebook or the old Kindle Mobi ebook. Here I am in a Scrivener 2 project. First, I want to point out that no matter how you have aligned your text in the editing area of your project, it will automatically justify in any ebook. In this first scene, I want to have a block quote. In older versions of Scrivener, to get the block quote to indent, you need to compile this particular scene as is in the compile process. But to make the rest of the text in the scene match with the rest of your manuscript, you need to justify the text in the Format menu. Select all the text in the scene and set it to Justify. Now, to format the block quote, select it, open the Styles menu and choose Block from the drop-down menu. As you can see, it appears to have quite a generous right-hand indent. But let's see what happens when you compile it. I'm going to format as an ebook. Then, in the Compile For drop down menu, note that in Scrivener 2 you do not yet have the choice of an EPUB 3 or a KF8 Mobi ebook, so I'll compile a Kindle Mobi. In the Contents tab, I'm going to set Scene 1 only to compile as is and leave everything else at the defaults and then hit the compile button. I'll call it block quote and hit export. Let's minimize the project and then I want to open the .mobi file in my Kindle app rather than the Kindle previewer because it shows a little better in a video demonstration. And there we have quite a nice ebook using the default settings. If we had not justified the text of this scene in the editor, it would have been right aligned because we compiled it as is. And we have a pretty decent block quote, but it is automatically aligning with the right hand margin. The next scene in the manuscript is justified even though we compiled it at the default settings. Now here I have a similar project but in Scrivener 3. This time it doesn't matter how you align your text as there is no need to compile as is. Select the section of text that you want to format as a block quote and open the Styles drop down menu. I have created a new block quote style with more of a right hand indent by selecting Show Styles panel and clicking on the plus icon, but the default block quote will do just fine. Now let's go and compile that. Note that the compile menu has changed significantly in Scrivener 3. At the top here, you select what file type you want to compile for. Note that you now have the extra choices of an EPUB 3 ebook or Kindle KF8 Mobi ebook. But first I'll show you the old Kindle Mobi. I'll leave everything at the defaults for now and hit Compile. I'll call it Block Quote 2 and hit Export. Let's minimize that and open the Mobi file in my Kindle app. The block quote is still right aligned and this time the rest of the text is automatically justified no matter how you formatted it in the editor. Let's go back to the project and open the Compile menu once more to see how to force the block quote to move away from the right-hand margin. This time I'm going to choose Kindle KF8 Mobi eBook from the Compile 4 drop-down menu. And I'm going to choose the default from the Formats sidebar. If you have already added a custom format preset for your ebook with other formatting attributes, you'll see it here and you can select that instead. 
Then click on the plus sign at the bottom of the Formats sidebar. Choose Duplicate and Edit Format. You will be creating a completely new format based on the ebook format you selected to duplicate. Give it a new name. I'll leave it at New Format. In the Save To drop down menu, choose either My Formats, which will save your new format to a place on your computer where it will be available to all Scrivener projects, or Project Formats, which will save it to this current project only. Open this gear icon in the sidebar and place checks inside the file types that you want to be supported by this new format. Block quotes may not work on all of them, but feel free to test these older ebook file types just in case something has been updated. Open the Styles menu and click on the plus sign to add a new style for this particular format from the Styles list. I'll choose the block quote right indent that I added to my styles in the editor, but you can choose block quote. Then you can click inside this preview text and adjust the formatting if you want to change the font or the font size. But the important thing is that you can adjust the right hand margin by sliding the triangle across. Once you've tested your ebook, this is where you'll come back if it's not exactly the distance you wanted. I'll hit Save, and you'll now see your new format as an option in the Format sidebar. Hit the Compile button, and this time I'll call it Block Quote 3, and export it. I'll minimize the project and open the Kindle KF8 Mobi ebook, which is still called a .mobi file. And this time the block quote is perfect. I hope that gives you a better idea of how block quotes work in Scrivener. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you need to learn more about Scrivener, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can sign up to one of my courses where I walk you through all the functions step by step.